about proofs of indefective definition. His footnotes were small here. This is a uh, somebody talking about Vatican one. Let's see who this is. This is the writer. Uh, this is a writer who's explaining what Vatican one says. We'll look at Vatican one here in a second, by the way. So we realize I'm not making this up. His footnotes were small here. So this is a book, a traditional Catholic book, the creed explained by Arthur divine from 1903. So we see that this is a, this is right at the time of Vatican one. It's a classical definition. Uh, and we'll have uh, this is citing Vatican one, explain what Vatican one says about indefectibility. So this guy goes on to cite uh, various Protestants who have different dates for when they think the Roman see defected. And then it goes on to say about proofs of indefectibility, the church's indefectibility, uh, the promises of Christ list are listed as follows, that he would be with the church all of her days to the consummation of the world, that he would be with his church without fail to the pro uh, so that the promises of Christ would, would be fulfilled and the gates of hell would not prevail against it. And he would never cease to be with his church. Therefore, the church, uh, in order to not fail, must be indefectible. The properties and attributes that are essential to the church flow from her original constitution and cannot fail. The church cannot lose them or suffer them to be impaired. For if she lost any one of them, and then failed, and then there was some wanting a period of time in which the church ceased to exist, then the promises of Christ would be found to be false. At all times and all places, then, she must be able to supply with all due means of salvation, uh, and thus she ought always to be able to, capable of being deemed the one true church. So we'll, we'll see this later, because for the church to fundamentally alter in its own constitution, it would not have the ability to dispense sacraments to the world to save it. But in this goofy, stupid position, the Roman Catholic church has defected. The Roman church has defected. And now the true church resides amongst tiny fringe set of sects who don't have the ability to distribute the sacraments to redeem men, except for a few groups who do think that they retain the succession or the goofy set of who think that you can go to schismatic sects to get sacraments. So they think that valid sacraments exist among schismatics that you can get and schismatics who don't have valid jurisdiction are dispensing the sacraments to save people. But you only have valid jurisdiction in union with the apostolic seat. So it's total nonsense. The church cannot lose her constituent properties. That is the key point here. So a lot of these set of occultists will not include the important distinctions about the properties of indefectibility. They will truncate indefectibility to be, there won't be a true Pope who teaches error and we only hold what the valid Popes taught. That's not what the indefectibility and essential constitution of the church is according to Vatican I and according to the definitions of Rome herself. The Catholic Encyclopedia, under indefectibility, it writes, among the prerogatives conferred upon, conferred upon the church by Christ, there are several essential characteristics. The church can never under, undergo any constitutional change that would make it, as a social organism, something different than it was originally. So the Roman Catholic Church can't be different from the one in 1200, from the one in 300, to the one in 1960. It can never become corrupt in faith and morals. It can never lose its apostolic hierarchy. It can never lose the sacraments that it communicates grace to men. It can never lose indefectibility. The gates of hell can never prevail against it. By the way, I know that every set of a conscience is going to say, yeah, we don't believe that it lost any of those things. But you do, and that's what we're going to demonstrate because we're going to demonstrate that what's fundamental to what they're saying is the Roman C. This is the key point that destroys all set of a consism. You can't have any of these things without what's fundamental to all of these, which is the Roman C.